video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Hello everyone, welcome to a very special video presented by the EA Creator Network where I am taking a really 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 deep dive look into the build and buy that is coming with the sims 4 home chef hustle stuff pack so thank you so much to the ea creator network for giving me a copy of this pack to review but let's just hop into it we're going to be having a looking at we're going to be having a looking we're going to be having a look at a little bit of gameplay at the end as well because we do have some items that provide some gameplay so let's delve in and see what we are working with here so we have some new counters super exciting i'm gonna get rid of the grid and also i don't have my reshade on so that you guys can have a proper like you can really get a good idea of what these items actually look like in game so I will place a few of these down and then we can go through the swatches. So we have this like pale greeny, sagey green color, which I really like. We have a baby blue. I like the fact that we've got like a gold strip sort of down here. I really like that. We have this coral orange ready color, which is really nice. We have a yellow one and I love the top of this. I like the detailing on that. We have a gray one. Again, with the same sort of speckle speckle detailing we have a well it's kind of a miss a mismatch a mishmash <laughs> of different colors on this one but i like that one as well we have like a dusky pinky top color which i really like actually i wasn't expecting to like that one we have like this cream one with a gray detailing on the bottom which i like we have a black what well, it's not black sorry it's like a really dark brown woody color which i which i, I think is amazing we have a plain white one I'm just gonna see okay yeah so there is a slight difference can you see so this one's white and this one is cream so i was just trying to see the difference but there is a difference and then we just have a plain black one as well with like a sort of like brushed bronze grayish color across here which very nice i very much appreciate that we have some matching island counters which we're just gonna pop all along here so i'm just gonna quickly run through all of the swatches so that you can see what's going on but we have just checked out the swatches of the counters so it gives you a pretty good understanding of what of what they're gonna look like we also have some overhead cabinets and can you see like the the light detailing i think we're probably gonna see it a little bit better if i set up a wall just over here and then go through the cabinets on this wall instead so that you can just see the actual so can you see there and then we've also got of course like all the different pieces as well which is nice oh, wow these are amazing stunning just because feel like i'm gonna get upset there we go <laughs> again the same swatches as the counters and the island counters as well i really like the fact that we can see the lighting underneath i think that's really nice it'll be interesting to see if you can turn them off in live mode i have a funny feeling you're not going to be able to it would be nice to have that option though but i've, I've just got a sneaky suspicion that we're not going to be able to do that we do have some double shelving units again with the with the lighting underneath which I, I do like I do like that but again if we could turn that off if we wanted to that would be a nice option we have some stackable plates here I'm always up for stackable plates because I think they look really really good but let's have a quick look at the swatches so that's the default swatch and then we have like a blue and white one. We have this speckled one here. We have this green one, white, and then plain black as well. I don't think they needed to go into too much detail with them to be completely honest. I think they've, they've pretty much nailed them. And I've just thought, I just wanted to have a look and see what these look like actually. Oh, I really like that. Anyway, we also have a new sink here. I'm gonna remove that because we do have them over there already. So we have a new sink, which I, I'm always welcoming welcoming for new sinks because I don't think we particularly have a lot of them in game already or at least a lot of ones that I like to use I tend to use I think two there's two that I tend to gravitate towards so this is this is a nice addition and I like the detailing on either side as well we also have an any fair food stand which provides a little bit of gameplay so we'll be having a look at that at the end of this video but yes I like this I like all the swatches I love this one I think this is my favorite one with the pizzas on it We've got like more of a plain swatch as well, which I like. And then we have like a plain black one. We've got this super colorful one. I can imagine that like a fair or something. And then we have this one here. 
for like the heart shaped waffles, so cute. We have some cute little decor pieces here. So this is the clotted cream and jam. So I imagine these sort of match the, the sort of like the waffles is what I would say. So that's the default swatch. And then we do have some variations as well, just with a few different swatches. So that's really welcoming. And then we have this aesthetically pleased aesthetically messy pizza station <laughs> so that's this one here again just coming in a, in a few different swatches i don't think they really needed to go too deep into these to be completely honest but clutter is always welcome especially for someone like me who's a bit of a clutter queen <laughs> we have this spice of life and i like the fact that some of these can you see are like half full and used and then some of them are full I like that i really like that and then we've just got matching swatches to sort of pair it with the counters or you can miss miss mismatch i always get that word wrong i want to say mishmash i want to say mismatch <laughs> with the uh, with the swatches there we have this cookbook i love this cookbook i i really like it i can see myself using this in quite a few of my kitchens as well so I like, I just really like it. It's just really sweet. And I think the whole idea behind it is that it's like grandma's cookbook and she's maybe like given it to the family so that they can follow her recipes. And I just think that's like the sweetest thing ever. We also have another decor piece, which is the Chow Bella food scale. It's not, it's not functional. It is merely for decoration, but that's it there. And we've got a wide variety of swatches again. And I like the fact that if we move over here, can you see the inside, like the, the filling has changed? I like that. Like that is probably like a chocolate one. And then we've got like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe like a cake batter or something. <laughs> we have some knives here as well. Knives on counters, personally in real life, freak me out. They just freak me out. I, I feel, yeah, I just, I'm not gonna go into too much information, but knives on counters just scare me a little bit. So I, I don't have this in my own house, but I know a lot of people do. It's like one of these magnetic stands and the knives like snap to them. They look really stylish. And if you have a nice set of knives, this, this can look really good. But for me personally, it's just, it frightens me. Uh, anyway, moving on, <laughs> we have a dish drying rack which is this one here. I like this. Again, a little bit of clutter is always welcome, especially for someone like me. So we've got some plates up here. We've got some cutlery in this little bit here, a grater. We have like a little chopping board and then a tea towel as well. I really like it. I just think it's really cute. And the tea towel changes too, which is always like just appreciated, especially at my end. So I, I like that. And, and, Oh, I was going to say, are some of the plates dirty? No, they're not. I thought some of the plates were dirty. It's just the speckles on it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for alarming anyone. And then we have these, which is like a hanging shelf. So these come in the like three different heights for the three different wall heights. So I'm going to pop them in front of here so that we can take a look. But I would imagine that they would potentially go over a kitchen island like this. Can you see? which I, I really like. I do like that. We're not going to check out the swatches of each and every one because I imagine they're going to be the same, but let's just, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. And we've got some clutter items on top. Again, very, very welcome, especially for someone like me. <laughs> so we're just going to go through the swatches here, but yeah, I, I like that. I can see myself using that again in, in quite a few of my houses. We have a new fridge. Amazing. They seem to be going for this more built-in look with this particular pack and I, I like that because it look, makes the items look a little bit like more inconspicuous, you know? So they're, they're more hidden, if that makes sense. But I actually really like that yellow one, you know? I didn't think I was gonna, but yes, I do like that. Ooh, that's pretty as well. I like that. Ooh, that's my favorite. That's amazing. I love that. We also have a new stove. So again, going for the more built-in looks, if I grab one of these, can you see? It's gone for like more built-in. Oh, sorry. I was just about to go all the way down there for the swatch. Rather than like going for like <laughs> what you would think would be logical. <laughs> so here we go. Love that. I, I, I'm noticing a theme here. I like this and this and this in these swatches. So I'm noticing that I'm liking the gray with like the brushed bronze color. I'm noticing a theme here. I am noticing a theme here. <laughs> so I like this one too. I do really like that. 
we also have a plain white swatch and then a plain black swatch as well so yes I like that and look 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 we have a new stove hood that has a light under it as well it'll be interesting to see if we can turn this on and off in gameplay I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no but it would be nice if we could please that would be great here we go these are all the swatches Oh, I zoomed, I zoomed out way too quickly there. I'm so sorry <laughs> if that made anyone go a bit funny. Okay, so we also have a waffle maker. Hi, waffle maker. We have a pizza oven. We'll be going through the swatches in just a second, sorry. And then what else do we have? I'm sure we have another. Is it like a food mixer that we have? I'm sure we have a food mixer as well. We do, we have a food, new food mixer. I'm only doing this because we are gonna be checking out the, the gameplay. So let me just move these. <laughs> Let me move these over here so we can actually see what we're doing here. Okay, so the pizza oven swatches, I can imagine they're probably going to match the counters, but we've got a really electric blue one. We've got the coral red again. We've got the like a pinky color, like a salmon pink. I like that. I like this one. That's probably my favorite one. And then we have this one and this one, which is just plain white. And then also this one too. But yeah, I really like that one. The little waffle maker. Again, coming in the same swatches, it looks like so, so that, like we can match them. So when they're in the kitchen together, they can they can match and, and look cohesive. The food mixer. Okay, we're going for the same swatches. So I feel a bit repetitive with this, but not in a bad way. I'm just meaning like I'm going through the same swatches <laughs> over and over again. And then we also have a compact dishwasher. Now in the UK, I don't know if this is the same thing anywhere else, but we would call this a slimline dishwasher. So it's nice to see this added to the game actually because it, it it's a bit of a space saver, although it does require one full counter. So I wasn't expecting anything else because it, it would be almost impossible for it to require half a counter, <laughs> but it does require a full counter, which is fine. But the swatches are really nice. And again, going for that more built-in look, which I just think is really, really welcome. So we do also have some new flooring and some new tiling as well, which we're gonna check out just at the back here. So I'm gonna lay out some walls. Let's check these out. Okay, so we've got this one here. We've got more of like a green one as well. We've got like a more of like a purpley color. And then we have a yellow one. We have a green, I like that green one. We have a green one. We have a plain, oh, sorry. We have a plain white one, which I also really like. We have a blue one, lovely. We have a black one. And then we also have that corally ready pinky one. I don't think I could have done that if I'd tried. I put down the exact amount of wall spaces that I needed for each swatch. It's almost like I've done this before. <laughs> We also have some new tiles, which is always super, super welcome. Now, I'm going to place these like this because I'm going to show you something that I've noticed using these. Just give me a moment. Let me just place these all down. Okay, so they're all down. So can you see how we've got like different shapes? Not shapes, different sizes of tile. And I really like that. So if I were to place all this down, so say we were building like a big kitchen, can you see how like it's patterned, but it doesn't look repetitive. Like it just looks really natural and really nice. And also the texture is beautiful. Like that, that's stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like that. So that's it in terms, of, I say that's it in terms of the items. I think we, we actually have a, quite a few items for a stuff pack, but let's not forget, we do also have some explore so i've got a horrible horrible feeling that um it's going to be nearly night time in my game so let's just have a look but i'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get the kind of the vibe that we're going to be going for here i just want my sim to come over and sort of see like what we can actually make here so let's let's click cook and see what we can actually cook so we can cook pizzas on this as well as is, is that how you, that's not how you say frittata, is it? I'd like, sorry, you'll, you'll have to excuse my English vocabulary, <laughs> my like UK Yorkshire vocabulary, because I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I would really like to find out a little bit more about what this actually is. But we can cook pizzas, but we can also cook other items on here as well. And I'm so sorry, excuse my ignorance. I mean, not knowing how to pronounce these, I don't want to butcher it. So just have a look on the screen. <laughs> Draw your own conclusions or please, please, 
educate me because I would definitely like to learn a little bit more about this food here but we're gonna have our sim come over here and just cook a pizza marinara because I want to see how this looks in terms of the gameplay and what it looks like and sort of the interactions that our sim is going to have with this so she does the pizza dough <laughs> which I really like oh she's doing it over her head <laughs> She's not very good because her cooking skill. This is one of my test sims. She's she's not particularly au fair with, with uh, cooking, etc. But <laughs> we're just going to pop that in the oven there. And while that's cooking, we're going to check out this waffle maker. So we can cook plain waffles, berry waffles, pumpkin spice waffles. I am so excited to see pumpkin spice waffles on here. It's just super cozy to me. I love it. We can cook chicken and waffles, banana split waffles. Take a shot every time Rachel says waffles. Joking, don't really do that. <laughs> Apple bacon waffles, mushroom waffles, cured fish waffles, saffron waffles, heart's desire waffles, and pleasantly unpleasant waffles. So for the sake of this, because we're just very quickly checking out some of the gameplay, we're going to cook some plain waffles here. Excuse me, get off your phone. Thank you very much. And cook some waffles for us, please. <laughs> I can already see that they're going to be heart shaped. I'm so excited. And while the waffles and the pizza are cooking, we're going to very quickly check and see what we can do with our little food mixer. So it looks like this is used to prep ingredients. I think I need to do a little bit more research into what this does in terms of does it help us with our recipes? Does it help us with waffles and pizzas and things like that? I've got a funny feeling it does. So I think we're going to prep some lactose free batter here and just see, just see what's what. So the pizzas are cooking away, which is, I love the, I love the fire animation here. I love the steam coming out of the top. Oh, 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 hello. Where's, where's the fire? Hello, please. Uh, oh, oh, hi. The waffle maker caught on fire. The, the waffle maker caught on fire, people. My waffle maker's, it's singed. Hello? That was rude. I just wanted to cook some waffles. Right, cook some waffles and do it now. Right, well, you're as upset as I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna collect our pizza. Why am I, why is my sim as, un, as unhinged as I am? Okay, get the pizza out, please. I want to see. I'm so sorry that it's dropped dark and we can't even see it properly. Okay, it comes in the little pizza box. It goes in straight in here and then we can just pop it on the counter. So this is our pizza marinara. Oh, this is making me want a pizza for my tea. <laughs> so bad. I want a pizza so bad for my tea right now. Okay, that's that's cute. That's very, very cute. Okay, so our pizza's done. Let's collect our prepped ingredients here as well. Hello, prepped ingredients. We have our batter. So we're gonna put these in our in our inven inventory. I think that's how you say inventory. <laughs> our waffles are still cooking, but then what we're gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna fast forward to the morning so that we can check out this, this cooking stand here <laughs> so that we can actually see what we're doing because I'm a struggle in here. I should have I should have like um, thought this out a little bit better in terms of what time of day it was when I decided to have my sim test this out. But let's collect our waffles. I think it pinged when the waffles were done as well. <gasps> Hi waffles. Stop. I want to see them. Oh, they look so good. Okay, our waffles have gone in there. Right, I'll be back in a minute and we'll be checking out the stand. Okay, so it is the morning. So we're going to have a look and see what we need to do here. So. We are going to, okay, I, I, need, I just need to try and work this out. I'm assuming that we need to, excuse me, where's, where's all the food that you prepared? Okay, I'll tell you what. Now, I know that we can do this and then go here and then place appliance. So that maybe what we can do is we can cook some stuff and then place it on here and tend to the stall, so. Let's have a look here and why did, where did the food disappear to? Did she eat the food or clean it up in the night? I'm assuming that's exactly what she did. So let's cook some berry waffles. In fact, no, we're gonna cook some pumpkin spice waffles because it's autumn. Come on. Oh, she's doing the pizza. Sorry, everybody. 
<laughs> I love that you can add these to the stand so that your sim can just like cook as they're putting stuff on the stand. I think that's a really, really cool idea. So the pizza's on. And now we're about to make our waffles. Perfect. Right, excuse me. Don't you dare go anywhere. No, don't go anywhere, please. I'm just going to fast forward through all this. And then I might even cut. Okay, so the waffles are done. So let's collect the waffles and collect the pizza. I wonder if she's going to automatically put them onto the stand. I would assume not. No, that's a shame. Mm, okay, I wish that she would... Okay, where did that go? Did they? Okay, I can start the food stand now. Sorry, I was trying to work it out. So the waffles that we've just cooked and the pizza that we've just cooked are now on the stand. Our sim is tending to it. We have a food sale on. We can mark up the prices if we want to. Let's do it up 25% and we can change business details that we can brand our food stand. We can open it and figure out, I mean, there's nothing on there. I would assume they'd be on there, but they're not. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I'm not a gameplay girly, I'm so, so, so sorry. But our sims tending to the stand and I'm hoping that some sims are going to turn up and perhaps buy some of our food. And then we can see how that sort of interaction works as well. Okay, here we go, our first customer. Okay, he doesn't look very happy. Hello, would you like to buy some of my food, please? Cooked very lovingly. She's really sad, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, look how sad she is. Okay, so, ooh, are you ordering food or? Oh, he's gone. I wonder if it's because the food's been marked up 25%. Okay, so let's mark it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, hold on. Have we just sold something? We've sold a slice of pizza for five simoleons. Do you like it? She looks a little bit indifferent to it, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, perfect. So I love I love this new addition to this pack. I think this is wonderful. I can't wait to see what some like gameplay and challenges people come up with this. But that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much again to the EA Creator Network for giving me a copy of the Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. For me to review and get this video out to you but you all take care and i will see you again very soon thank you all bye